It's a truism that the church is not a building, but rather is the people who make up any given congregation. And one important group of people who make up congregations are the staff. And today, I want to give special thanks to the staff here at St. Philip the Deacon. Stay tuned. Hello friends, Pastor Tim Westermeyer here, Senior Pastor of St. Philip the Deacon in the western suburbs of Minneapolis. Good to be with you as always. So I have a couple of things on my mind today. Uh, we're taping this the week before the King's Coronation. That'll happen this Saturday on May 6th. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm a huge Anglophile. I've talked about that before. Um, and I will definitely be watching it. I'm not going to say much about it today. I may talk about it in next week's episode after seeing it. Uh, but I think we'll also link um, to the episode I did just after the Queen's funeral. Um, I think the title of that was Queen Elizabeth II Evangelist. Uh, they're both both those events are happening in Westminster Abbey, and so uh, there's sort of a connection there. And um, I'll actually be able to travel, God willing, to Westminster Abbey this summer along with some other place in it in England, so I'll also report back on that when that happens. But anyway, um, I'm looking forward to that. Th that. So that's one thing I have on in, on my mind just because it's coming up. The other thing I have on my mind is, is closer to home. It's connected to uh, the congregation I'm privileged to serve, St. Philip the Deacon here. Um, tomorrow, the day after we're taping this, uh, our staff is going to get together for a little uh, staff retreat, um, it, which we do you know, once or twice a year. Some of those, as in every place of, of business or organization that has multiple staff, uh, some of those are about you know, reflecting on what we do and the mission, the values of this uh, wonderful congregation. Uh, some of those events are a little more fun. Uh, the, the, the event this week is going to be a little more fun, but part of what I want to do at that event, uh, and by the time this is published, by the way, the staff will know this, uh, is I want to say th thank you to all of our staff. We have an incredible staff here, and it's one of the many things in my mind that makes us so incredibly healthy. That's the word I use again and again about St. Philip the Deacon. It's a healthy congregation. Lots of reasons for that. We could maybe talk about some of them another time. Um, one of them, certainly, I guess I should make sure to mention, is all of our incredible members. So to those of you who are, are members of this congregation, I want to be sure to say thank you for making this such an incredible place. Uh, but back to the staff, we have a, a little over 20 uh, staff who are sort of here on site most days during the week. Um, and interestingly, about half of that group has been here um, relatively, they came relatively recently, so less than 10 years is that one sort of grouping. The other group, um, about nine if I'm not mistaken, have been here for 15 years or longer. And uh, I think the long tenure of staff here at St. Philip the Deacon uh, is both a, a reason for our health and a reflection of that health, if that makes sense. Um, so at the, uh, the retreat we're doing this week again, Part of what I want to do at that is say a special thank you to those staff who've been here uh, for more than uh, a decade, you know, for 15 years or more. Um, so that I'm going to name them here. That includes a group uh, that's been here 15 years or more, uh, and that includes Amanda Berger and Joan Harper. Joan is almost 20 years, but not quite. Um, it also includes me, as it happens. Um, then there's a group of uh, staff who've been here 20 years or more. That includes Cindy Carlson, Kathy Hagedorn, uh, Pastor Cheryl Matheson, and Tricia Ragner. And then there are a couple who've been here even longer than that. Nora Long, uh, our longtime cantor, has been here 28 years. Uh, and Pastor Valerie Strand Patterson, um, just in April, I think, uh, hit her 34th anniversary of being here at St. Philip the Deacon. Um, so today, in this episode, again, I extend my gratitude, my thanks to all all of the incredible, faithful, talented, wonderful people who make up our staff, uh, having all of you as, as uh, partners with me in ministry makes coming into work every day an absolute joy, and it's a blessing and gift that I do not take for granted. But I want to say a special thank you to those of you who have been here uh, for so long, uh, doing your work so well and so faithfully for all these years. And if you are a member and you know some of the people I mentioned, 
Would you just uh, reach out to them, whether you see them in person uh, this coming Sunday or if you feel like dropping an email, uh, get in touch with them somehow and tell them how much you appreciate uh, their incredible ministry here. It always means a lot to get some uh, positive reinforcement from people. So uh, again, I'm grateful for all of our staff. I hope members that you are as well, and I hope you'll express that to them next time you see them. Um, that's it for today. If you are going to watch the coronation, I hope you enjoy it. And as always, if you have thoughts about what I've just said, I would love to hear your comments below. Until next time, be well, stay in touch, and God bless. Mm-hmm.